So, and one of the things I found in the prelude specifically is that you, they were a little bit fast. I didn't think that you really had the connection between the grab ma and the ornament. And it's the fact that you're, every ornament, and this is the same in the Haydn, uh, tri, um, the trills, right? You're playing the trills in the style of the movement. So, yours was a fast movement, a fast trill. Here, in this grab one, it really felt like maybe the ornaments were a little fast, and they weren't shaped in a way where I wanted to just come into like understanding all of them. And they're so different, right? Um, this French writing, there's very specific ornaments for all kinds of different things, whether you go from the top or the bottom, or you come from the bottom or the top, or you do one or two, or you go up and down, which is really fun. And it's like having a little legend, you know, you can have a little legend saying, what, which one's this, which one's this. But I didn't think it was super clear for us what they were, um, even the very first one. So I'm wondering, the other comment that I had was that I feel like I wasn't super aware that you could sing the way you played. Um, it was sometimes a little bit without the need for big, beautiful breath. And at the end of the phrase, it didn't feel like a release. It felt a little bit like, oh, I better keep going. You know what I mean? So I want a little bit more of that sort of, the gesture. I mean, we have to think a little bit about the style of this music, which is very um, chord and, and very full of grace and full of architecture. Incredibly ornate, this stuff. If you go to these places where these were originally um, composed um, in, in France, specifically. So, can we just try the opening of the prelude? And can you give me a sense of that the ornament is part of this, the words and that you're not rushing through them and it's part of the grab of this movie? Raising your body is actually much harder than 
just following his example. So you can think about that stylistically. Um, and then can you please breathe after that note? Yo, yo. There's a rest, right? So I'm feeling a little anxiety. Could you clear that up for me? Yeah. <laughs> Start playing, you have to keep playing. There's like a, a divot in your sound that I'm not. You have to sing it all the way to the down.
So the, the, the bar was eight, eight notes. So you have to do something with that a little bit more. They're not just eight, eight notes. So um, can we try this maybe from here? Yeah. And then can you play this really like a phrase? Like sure. beautiful, it goes down. What are you going to do? Where are you going to breathe? What are you going to say? Okay. What are you going to So anyways, can you try that one more time from the same spot? Can you just start? This one, oh, this was the, the, the thing here is, I wasn't sure what the like uh, time signature was. So I feel like right away we need to know. So it can't be sort of a static. Right away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
less. I, 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 every now and then I hear the, I hear the wood. Yeah. So you're trying to say something beautiful, um, and it's great if you have the facility. But if, I, if it's too fast and I can't hear what it is, then I don't understand the point. Right? One more time, maybe from here. Um, yes, that's a great spot. The top of the third bar. Yes. Second time, people know what it is. You can get 
faster, but first you have to explain. This is the ornament. So there's also different varieties within that sequence that you, you can do. But one. Um, maybe we can just play for one minute from the double bar. Lots of hair. Sounds 